Hello everyone, welcome back to the second game which will take place of Redwater Tidal Waves versus The Roots. Today I am joined by Louis2k. Hello. Mm, this will be quite an interesting Division 3 game in my opinion. Uh, I will agree. Yeah, just go on. I'll agree with you, Dad. I no, mean, I'll let you talk. Sorry. <laughs> come on, come on. That's okay. Um... Yeah, tidal waves um, pulling out close off to the snake bites in their first game. Snake bite being one of the top seeds, and tidal waves being quite low down. Same with the roots, and seeing as the t uh, red water tidal waves were able to just come short of p possibly winning against snake bite, I think it's going to be quite a very close game. I um, from the start when I did my research, when I found out I was commentating this game, I always <sighs> said to myself. You know what? I think the Roots are going to win. I commented. The reason is I commentated that game against Team Bat last week, and right from the start I said, "Oh, the Roots aren't going to do anything." They turned up. They looked really strong. I feel like the Roots. They're going to be one of the strong contenders in this division, and they've got my vote for a prediction tonight. Uh, so you're going to say, as your prediction, if I can just the Roots get this sorted because um if i can find it uh scroll 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 there it is you're gonna go with the roots did you say yes well for me um just of what i've seen from both teams i mean unfortunately for me i've managed to play with a few of the players from uh redwater tidal waves um and for this i want to say a a redwater win Ooh. For, I can't I'm very indecisive at how this will go I'm not sure if it's going to be I'm a 3-1 I think I'm going to just say 3-1 to redwater what about yourself I will do 3-2 um, to, to yeah 3-2 to the roots okay so that's, this is a very this is going to be very interesting I mean currently we have the roots in the lineup being Rud Rud um, T Zippy and Logic. Um, I'm not sure about the Redwater team yet. We'll hopefully get them in shortly. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I go and grab their team currently. I'll see how who who is the word I was looking for is pot more than likely going to be playing. Um. Now, why do you think that uh, the Roots are going to win? I know you said that you... About the, both the teams, but... Anything you want to add on, as to why? Whilst I quickly look for this. <laughs> I I guess for the root, yeah. I think the Roots, they sort of came to life in that game against Team Fat. It was a close encounter, and... The, as I said just now, the Roots went against... That was against my prediction last time. I thought the Roots were going to lose in their previous game. And... I feel from what I've seen in Division 3 so far, it's going to be a tightly contested division. I feel all these levels, all these players in this league are in the same division. But the reason I've only gone to Roots is I've not seen enough so far from Redwater, Tidal Raves. For me, that's... I just need to see them a bit more to have a bit more confidence that they can win. But the Roots last week strengthens, in my heart, a place or a team for, to support, which is the Roots. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> at this point, I don't think any know anyone knows what I'm saying or you're saying. But <laughs> I don't think this has gone very well to start with. Hopefully, this second game will run smoothly or smoother. It can't go much worse than what happened last series. But um, again, with the match intros, unfortunately, I wasn't able to grab the 
um, audio clip or the audio for those clips. So you'll just have to sit there in silence, as if you're doing your exams again. Except it's only for a minute, so you'll be, you'll be okay. You don't have to leave because of that. Um, Wait, is this me you're talking to or the stream? No, the stream. Yeah, stream. Yeah, don't leave us. We are. We do want to keep you guys occupied and do stay involved with us. And actually, what are you guys thinking in chat? Do get involved on the ECC on their social media accounts. Follow them on Twitter. You have got the Discord, YouTube tournament links all down below. Yeah, just Leave scroll down a bit. Just scroll down a bit. We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll give you a chance to scroll down. You'll see the the, the names, the ECC, Discord, Twitter, YouTube t tournaments. Do you want to say anything extra about those? Like any information? Or you shall I take on them? You'll <laughs> click on them. And, and if it's something like Twitter, you should follow it. And also, you should follow the ECC on Twitch as well. Twitch.tv slash ECCTV. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how you'd get here without getting that link. But <laughs> <laughs> nonetheless, if you want to continue with these high, well, high level, interesting and quite very competitive games, oh, make sure you, yeah, you follow. Can... Uh, they'll be very entertaining um i want to say weekly there's a few every week it's always something would you, you can like also to continue? donate to them yeah you can also donate to the um ecc uh, streamlabs.com slash ecc tv indeed um yeah if you scroll down we'll have the i'll just reiterate we have our twitter link uh follow and we'll give you the updates as to when games are being played the YouTube is, if you've missed games that have been played, you can go to our YouTube and we'll have the games uploaded from the VODs there. If you go to our tournament page, <coughs> tournament, I like to say it like that, I don't know why, don't judge me. Um, it'll show you the outlay of how the current week and the rest of the weeks will go. But if you click onto our Discord, it'll take it'll take you into our um, Discord server, where you can find every, every uh, active people every day. There's always someone to talk to, and um, if you're thinking about joining up for this league, unfortunately we um, have our signups closed, which means that you won't be able to sign up as a team. But if you are interested in joining a team that is already partaking in the league, then um, there's if you have a look into the see uh, one of the tabs and click on the teams, there'll be teams. I don't know how many times I'm going to say teams in this sentence. There'll be teams that have um, not as much players as they have as max. So you can join that team and play in the league and show off your abilities, which will be great so, for everyone. But if you are in a team, um, stay involved. Get on the Discord and, that and just register your interest and... If we have enough interest, we'll go ahead with season three, which I'm sure we'll do anyway. Yeah, we'll go into we will definitely have a season three, and if you you are quick enough, you can sign up yourself for season three once season two comes to an end. So you'll have to be quick with that because we do have a fair bit of teams that want to join. <clears throat> but um, just waiting for uh Redwater Esports currently. Um, I don't know what much else to talk about. Oh no. So Redwater, they've played. Have they played yet? Yes, they, played they have played lost. Snakebite, uh, one of the top team of Division 3 at the moment. And they just came short of getting a win, which was very unfortunate for them. Um, we're waiting on one, one of the teams to actually turn up. It's just like. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. What are you eating? Pizza. Oh, I'm eating Jaffa cakes. Oh. I almost had, I almost had pizza, but I ended up making myself a burger and chips. And oh, I'm really annoyed be foods. because I tried to cook some chips and they just all burnt. I, I had, just had some burgers. I had chips as well, but unfortunately they were under, or they were cold at the end. Oh. Uh. Ooh, ooh, red water are in now. Oh. <coughs> Oh, spicy pizza, this isn't good. Oh, I'm, I'm not even in the server. Yeah, we'll get you in now. Um, you just... Wait, are you in the party? Yeah. Have you just joined party match or the credentials that we gave you? 
And don't say that on stream because that would be very bad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've almost done that. Um, yeah, with the Redwater startup, we have Ashtax, um, Echo, and... No, gonna have to mute this. Oh god, I have an Amazon Echo and it kind of heard me and that's never gonna work when I'm calling. Echo scored a goal! And, you know, <laughs> just it somehow buys something, you know, never works out. This is um, about as saying Alexa played us this season. Oh, in indeed, I mean, it's still pretty bad. Oh god. <laughs> um... We're just waiting for the last player now, aren't we? Yes. Um, I can't remember who that was. Um, I didn't get t time to check. But once this player joins in, we will go into the map intro. And then you'll finally get to watch the first game of the series of Tidal Waves vs. The Roots. Oh. Can we take a minute to say hi to Andy? Yeah, oh yeah. Andy, do you want to just unmute and just say hi? You know you want to. Hello. <laughs> yeah, he's helping us out. Well, he was helping me out with the last series. Thankfully, thankfully we have um, Louis, who's a proper caster. <laughs> am I? What? what, 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 what? Compared to... Oh, I'm going to get shouted at by him at the end of this <laughs> but compared to Andy yeah oh god I've done this twice I've just closed down the game that's great um well not closed it down just minimized uh yeah the red water lineup is ender um trying to look for the names echo and ashtax uh we will get into the match intros now oh god Game one underway. Would you like to start? Thank you very much. Welcome to this game then. The key game with Division 2. There's going to be Tidal Rave against mm. the Roots. And the Roots are going to be on the orange team. Tidal Rave on the blue team. And already that's going to be the Roots playing and getting this aggression in the early stages. Yo Logic, he wanted to get that early chance in play, but nothing going to be quite going in his favor at the moment. Straight down the other end. There's a attack, a chance, and the opening goal for Ender. And that's 1-0 to Tidal Waves. Indeed, and then looking at this, Ender just taking it around. He only got a touch there. This must have been an own goal. Very unfortunate. He's if he's just missing it. Bumping it down, and Ashtrax looks like he might have bumped your logic in or into the ball, or Logic just scored it himself. Very unfortunate for the roots there. Great opening goal, and within the first minute from Ender, and that's just the start that Tidal Waves will want. And they want to try and extend this lead here, but Yo Logic, he's just going to get a chance, a shot straight down the other end, and is it now a chance of response maybe for the Roots if they now try and press forward? And the shot going in, Rod Rod looking to centre it, but nothing quite available with Ender. And the blue team don't quite get it away, not quite fully cleared yet in the end. We cleared, and a rotation looking to be brought in. An attack incoming from Tidal Raves as they get a shot. Not quite on target at this stage. ATKZ? Um, Ashtax is how you say his name. Attacks? Ashtax. Is... Ashtax. Yes, Oof. there you go. Ooh, very interesting shot there from Echo. Ender with a nice touch down. I think he's going to try to get a double touch. Unfortunately, he doesn't. He's going to be trying to get it away himself. And uh, possibly going to try and take it back, but Logic with a nice 50-50. And there again, we'll just regain that ball and regain the composure. I think quite being held onto the roots as uh, again, forced to try and clear the ball away. So your Logic shot clears away that latest attempt here. There's Tidal Raves. Trying to push forward to try and get the second goal here, but they have to rotate back now. This is the Roots now starting to push forward. Rod Rod, he sends to the ball, it's perfect. There's no one quite there. But the blue team and tears if he's straight down the other end, just has to dribble the ball. He can't even dribble or control the ball. It's all right, Logic is there. He can just get things calm for the Roots. They will now try and push forward and, and missed aerial 
And it is. I, what is it? Pardon? I, e Ender Echo um, Ashtax against. Ashtax. Ash. Keep... Yeah, just call. It just called him AT. That's what I had to call 18. him. AT. We're going to be cutting down the day T, but. It's going to be your teammate Echo who has a shot. A great shot. But the shots aside are saved by Logic. So this is a pivotal 80. This is going to be controllable. Try to get an attack going here as they push forward. But there's three players committing to the ball, the roots, the defensive end. And Ender, he can just capitalize off that. An empty goal, an empty net. And his shot is well shot and well hit away by Rod Rod. Just halfway through this game. And Ender is trying to keep this alive for the Tidal Waves team. And they can't quite control the ball. They now have to defend. But and Echo <laughs> just calmly clear it away at this point. Rod Rod, he wants to get a sense of ball in play. Nothing quite yet into this. Approaching two minutes, another good save by Yo Logic and danger isn't quite clear yet at this stage. TZP, we're looking to clear this ball away. It will eventually be scampered away. With two minutes on the clock, it's still one nil to Tidal Waves. Indeed, oh, and a nice good. shot from Logic. The passing play, the simple pass from TZP, he took it out, no boost, and just tapped it over to Logic. Logic with an immense amount of power. Ashtax unable to read that in time. And it resulted in a goal for the Roots. 1-1 with two minutes remaining. A great response going. Yo Logic's really been a key player in this first map here. And this is going to be the Roots who are trying to get this second goal back or second goal in their favor at this stage. They won't get anything. It is Ender looking to control the ball. They will control it nicely. It's centered. But if anything, the defensive clearance eventually goes in their favor. And now they've got to fall back the attack. Coming and falling to 18, he just can't control the ball, but it's cleared. It's going forward here for the team in Tidal Waves. A great center as possible, but there's no one quite there to finish the end project. And uh, again, trying to keep this chance, the shot alive here. It was looking to be centered, but all six players on the server were desperate to try and clear and hit that ball in their favor. Great little entry there, but Ender, his clearance was just a pivotal. And now, if you're Tidal Waves, you're trying to get this second goal and you can't quite get it at this stage your logic he has to fall back the latest attempt by tzippy it's gonna be cleared with a minute to go and uh, he'll beat one player but can he beat any more for now it will just be cleared away and the roots for now are gonna have to push forward and try and get the ball in the attack indeed and rud rud with a nice shot there <clears throat> and uh, easily saves it um i mean from what i've heard from the players of redwater tidal waves I believe they said Ender was quite an aerial style player, and he's very good in the air. So I yeah, definitely exactly. want to see. I definitely want to see some of his plays. Definitely something that's becoming obvious here. Thirty seconds. Key stage for both teams now as they look to try and get this winning goal in the first round. Two players kind of hitting each other there, and there's an opening. There was an opening there for the Roots, and this ball wasn't fully cleared for Tidal Waves. They now have to fall back. They've got to try and clear the ball. The ball eventually. Cleared away by Echo, another chance. A great save by AT from Rod Rod shot. That could just take us to overtime at this stage. Well, Duke tries to send the ball forward. One last chance potentially, but this is going to be a no man's land at this stage. We're going to go to overtime. <coughs> kick off in favor. Great kick off, and that was almost a goal from kick off. T-Zip, he had to be on point with that. He was, it was so lucky that he was there. Echo is going to try and get another chance here for Tidal Wave. A great center and a great finish by Ender. 2-1. A really quick overtime goal for Tidal Waves. Indeed. Echo playing that cross in and Logic just too far forward. And Ender just securing the goal. I mean, I don't know who that was back further back, but he was just unable to reach the ball in time. That was just...
Game two about to get underway. If I can just, huh? Hopefully the teams get ready. In I'm not sure if they're questioning as to whether to join or not. So it's harder Ravens to take that first game two one in the end. It was an overtime goal which secured the win, but still a good showing from both sides. And the roots aren't going to be done quite yet. They won't want this series to be over as of yet. They won't want it to be a complete sweep. Complete. Yeah, complete sweep. Not all. I mean, I don't think anyone wants to see a complete sweep <clears throat> for any team. Unless you play on that team which is about to win 3-0. In which case, it would have been quite nice. Indeed. Indeed it would, but... I don't think that would be the case with the Roots, as... Logic is quite a strrong player, as evident, and TZP is a very defensive player. Rudwood, I've not been able to see much of, however, but game two is underway. Follow waves again, blue team, Roots on the orange team, and it will be TZP to try and get this opening attack in favour of the Roots, but he can't quite control the ball, so that'll be an easy enough clearance for the tidal waves, and the ball's being pushed forward. And Rudrud Rud really has to get a good clearance here, or else he could be in trouble at this stage. He can at least clear it together at this stage. Roots now is going to be trying to push forward to try and get this opening go early on here. A great shot. Just sort of a interception in the air, which didn't quite work out for anyone. And a great shot, a great finish by AT. And that's 1 0 in favor of Tidal Waves. Indeed. Ender now with just a small dribble plays it across to Ashtax, and Ashtax just putting it behind Rudrud, Rud, putting it bottom corner. Logic didn't expect that to go behind him, and it was just an easy goal. Great finish for Aztecs, and that's 1-0 to the Tidal Waves team, and just exactly how they started that first game, the same scoreline going here. Yo, Logic, he was trying to get some sort of response at this stage, and this an could be the route trying to get another goal. Yeah, an open net. They had to work with that, but they couldn't quite capitalize. Ender will be the catalyst to try and get something going down the other end. We'll beat one player, and this could just be a really nice finish. It's a pull shot in the end, 2-0. That's a great lead for Tidal Waves. Yeah, and they're just taking his time. Got a nice tap over t Zippy and just put a, too much pressure for Rudbud to clear it. It's already two goals with four minutes and eight seconds remaining. This could be a potentially a very one-sided game. The Roots will be desperate to try and get this response goal ASAP, and they will be getting the ball to work with Joe Logic. He just loses it in no man's and now realistically the ball cleared away and Another open goal for them to work with, but they can't quite capitalize this time or hit it home. Yo, Logic, he can't clear it either. And again, it's going to be Tyler Rose trying to get this next goal ender. He was trying to get the ball down. It reaches 80, and it's just not that powerful enough to find anyone at this stage. So, Roots will now have a little bit of a chance to attack here, but they can't really get it in the other half here. Another shot potentially for TZP, but well, cleared away by 80. And Again, another shot looking to be a cry for the roots. They are trying to aggress forward, trying to get an attack going, but there's no one quite there, and these balls not quite working out at the speeds that they'll need them to be. These are eventually going to be cleared and pushing now forward. Our tidal waves so have to rotate back. A great shot, a great clearance by T Zippy. And now, no logic. He's trying to catalyze, capitalize and get something going, but the defense, by the way, is just looking so strong with three minutes on the clock. Indeed, and now it looks like he's going for one of his. Air dribbles, he gets it over one. Can he get around Yo Logic? Unfortunately, he can't. The ball falls to Ashtax, who's trying to apply, apply pressure himself. It, it's looking very one sided, but Rudward now it looks like he's gonna give his team some space or potentially even an opportunity. Not quite gonna work out there. Ball centered, it's perfect, but the two players at the back there for Tidal Waves. And what is that? Another shot, another open goal, but a critical hit. By TZP, he just knocked it away to stop the roots from going three zero down and straight down the other end. And have a shot, and have a great save by Echo in the air. And well, you can see Rod Rod's trying to get something going here. The roots, they're not giving up quite yet, but they are looking under pressure realistically. These are just looking to be easy clearances by Tyrone Wave, just 50 50 at this stage of the game. AT will be destroyed, and well, even with this man lost, the roots still can't really do anything with it. Just a slow ball, <laughs> shot was there, but. Nothing quite ending up in their favour. Two minutes. Other waves, they're still in control. And there was another shot there for Rod Rod, but 
Yo, Logic, he's gonna center it. It's a perfect center. It's easy if he can knock it home. Maybe there is something in this game for the roots. Indeed. Ender pushing up himself and your logic pinching it behind him. Ender expecting someone to be in net. Unfortunately, Ashtax wasn't there in time. And I'm not sure where Echo was. May have been further upfield. But yeah, it's now 2 1 with two minutes remaining. The roots still have a little bit of time to work with. Try and get an equalizer. What is that? That's brilliant by Ender. An aerial shot. And that's the two goal lead restored. Indeed. Ender with a nice pinch. And he just. Pushes straight away before Rodwood can even capitalize on him. And it's just an open net, easy goal. 3 1 and 1 minute and 51 seconds remaining. That was insane. And the Roots, they won't be too happy after that. Again, they're going to be the team under the pressure here. Tidal Waves are trying to center the ball. AT was there to try and get something going. But there's two players back here for Tidal Waves. They didn't overly commit, they didn't fully really rotate. T Zippy, he's trying to get a full center at this stage. But the Roots really aren't able to coordinate as well as maybe they'd hope to. There was an open net, and I shot. A great save by Echo. It wasn't then an open net, but you know what I meant. It was a great shot. And straight down the other end. You know, Logic is going to keep it in this half to try and get, get something going there. Great center ball. A little bit too heavy, really, for Rod Rod, but this chance is eventually going to die away. And straight down the other end, Tidal Wave, they have to now attack. Nothing coming out from there. Logic trying to play the ball into the box. So he's with a nice demo on Echo. That looks like his style to do. Style of play and Rudward just trying to get this goal. Indeed he does. It's a minute remaining. 3-2. TZP just demoing Echo. Ender unable to recover from Rudward. And Ashtax nowhere near the ball. Or as close as he hoped. <clears throat> Not done yet then the Roots in this game. 3-2. For the title wave teams. So the Roots have got a minute to try and get an equalizer at this stage. TZP he'll get a man advantage but... It's not quite going to work out. He tried to get the shot as well, but AT can calmly clear it away. Only as far as the play in T-Zippy. Rod Rod trying to get something forward here. So is Logic. Then it wasn't really an open goal. There's three players in the defending end now for Red Water. A great shot. A great save by Rod Rod. And Rod Rod's shot isn't quite going to get knocked in quite yet. This chance is eventually going to be cleared away, but that was a great little chance in the roots. They might have just lost their chance to clean this up. 30 seconds. He's if he's going to get another shot, another chance going forward here. But the defending is just perfect. Any balls that are sent in are just well received and well cleared away by tidal waves. There was another chance potentially, but and it's going to get this next chance going forward here for tidal waves. They're going to try and close this out, but another good save by Yo Logic and Echo. He's just going to keep it in this half. I think this is way it for game two. Indeed, it will. I mean, Tzipi getting a shot off Ender with an easy clear. That was the last shot of the game. Very close. Tidal Waves securing this second game. This series could prove out, come out to be a 3-0. and As game three gets underway, this looks extremely one-sided for Tidal Waves. They're definitely proving to be the better team. Let's see what the Roots have got in left in them in this best of five series. We're just going to be 2-0 in favor of Tidal Waves. It is the Tidal Wave team who are trying to get something going on, but realistically, neither team are able to control the ball at this stage. It will just be a little moment for Tidal Waves to try and control the ball. t Zippy tried to read that, and that was perfect for Logic, but... The AT shots, or sorry, the AT clearance was well good. Rod Rod trying to keep another chance alive. A great shot, which was well read and received by Echo. Straight on the other end. Ender just making a really interesting touch to clear it away. 
Eventually wall clear away. I think he was trying to get it an attack going, but Rod Rod, he can safely save it for now. The Roots team, 423 on the clock here is Ender. And the Tidal Wave team trying to get something going here, but an easy empty net for them to try and score. And it's not quite going to come out to anyone just yet, Rod Rod. Still going to try and get another chance going live here. The Roots, they are applying some pressure to their opponents at this stage, but they're not really easily able to control the ball. And Rod Rod, just a misclearance, and this could be an easy shot here, an easy attempt. But Ender can't quite knock it in. Deep can AT. Roots, they just survive another scrap, and eventually it's cleared away by Yo Logic. An own what? goal, an own goal, oh no. Echo and Ender, what have, what's happened? Yo Logic just hitting it wide of Ender, Echo trying to clear it, and Echo flips back. The ball goes in. This is going to put up a lot, a lot of pressure on tidal waves now. Now that's the dream start that the Roots need. <laughs> just completely against any sort of plans I had for them to sort of I wasn't expecting them to score. Oh well there was a chance there for AT to try and get something better. TZP was at least there to try and deny an easy opportunity. Yo logic. He was just trying to dribble the ball really tried to get something going. Wasn't quite gonna work out but an empty net. Potentially here TZP will get the resulting hit to clear it away. Only temporarily gonna be cleared but Roots they've now got the ball to work with. They've now got to get a chance going but they can't really get a chance going. Tidal waves they're quick to read this and quick to receive anything that they can cling on to. Another chance of an attempt, but Tidal Waves can't do anything with this yet. Approaching three minutes on the clock and there'll be another chance going forward here for the Roots. A great shot by Logic. But it just hits the underside of the crossbar. The follow-up attempt by Rod Rod wasn't quite being knocked in, but they don't want this chance to be over. They're going to center it yet again. The player was there, but another crucial save by AT. CZP, he wants this chance still alive. They want this 2-0 lead, but... They can't quite get it at this stage. The defending from Tidal Waves is just on point. And again, another chance. Sees if he beats one man. Will he beat the second? Can't quite beat him. The ball is cleared away. And Tidal Waves will now get a bit of breathing space. Indeed. And Sees if he now trying to play the ball up himself. But however, he doesn't have much boost. <coughs> Ashtax now just getting a nice, comfortable clear for his team. Allowing his the rest of the players to push up. Him himself, not much boost though. Ball falls back to Ender Echo. I mean... And uh, looks like he's just going to try and take this around and have a bit of time. This is very dangerous as all the players were there. Unfortunately, the Roots haven't been able to c get a nice hit on the ball. It looks like it's a goal, but Red Rudd within a great save the last second. The Roots are sticking on to this lead and it's a desperate lead that they're trying to hang on to. 80 gets a useful save to deny Rod Rod a second goal. And straight down the other end, they're trying to get another chance. They're trying to get this equalizing goal. And the chance is there. It's a perfect center and a great finish by end. They're not quite going to go in. Somehow, that is not finished. And the Roots for now, they're trying to cling onto this 1-0 lead. It's so tight. And it feels like Tidal Waves are trying to get this response goal and they can't quite get it. Just both sides equal to each other. Suddenly, the Roots, you feel they've got a chance to win this game here. Yeah, I know. Um, the Roots getting that one goal quite lucky at the start, but I think it's definitely going to put a shift in momentum for the Roots. And as Ender gets this angle, he looks like he's going to play it off to the backboard to someone. Unfortunately, Logic is there to get a clear. Falls back to Echo, however. Echo trying to play it over to Ender. It's, however, Rod Rod blocks it and the ball goes in. This is a comfortable 2-0 lead for the Roots. And Tidal Wave just didn't really have anyone there in response. AT was the closest player to it, but... Just the timing and the angle wasn't quite with him on that. Right, the Roots, they just have to play it calm, play it safe now. They've got two options. They can even go all out attack and get a third goal, which is what they're doing. Ender gets that crucial save, or they can just sort of stay back, play it passive now. But it looks like the Roots do want this third goal. They don't want to give up quite yet. AT, we got a chance there. Rod Rod almost redirected it towards his own goal, but it's all right. The clearance is there. It's fine for now for the Roots, but the ball... Still trying to be pressed forward here. Ender trying to center the ball. He hasn't got a lot of support at this stage of it. Yo Logic is going to be the play in the center. Cho try and deny any chance, but Tidal Wave, they have to fall back. There's a chance potentially for the opposing team. They somehow scramble the ball away, but they look under pressure now. They're not looking that comfortable. 30 seconds. TCP, he wants a third goal. Something for the Roots to cling on to. Echo, another crucial save for the Roots. They've got this lead going. They can't quite get this third goal. And it's leaving questions as to whether Tidal Wave can at least get one more in this game. I don't think they'll have a chance at this stage. Still, Focus F to get one more goal. Rod Rod, an empty net. Yo Logic tried to redirect it in, but Echo save 
was just on point. That should keep us at 2-0 and the Roots seem to have found themselves back in this series. An empty goal. It will be knocked in 3-0 and it's not quite going to be a 3-0 map lead for yet now. No, I mean it could go to a potentially a reverse sweep for the Roots which would be very interesting to watch. But this shift in momentum could potentially gift that to them. We'll just have to find out after this game as this one does seem secured to be of the Roots victory. <clears throat> and they needed that. They needed that. They were 2-0 down in the series. If you want to get a result, this might be a little bit too late to do it. But you've got one game back now. You've got a chance in this series. The Roots, their one map is still down. But I think they've still got a chance. We are back for the next game of Tidal Waves versus The Roots. 2-1 currently. Looks very interesting and could potentially become a reverse sweep, as we said earlier. You can't really doubt Tidal Waves, though. They looked in control in the early stages of that third game just now, but they couldn't quite clean it out. And It's going to be a start which The Roots are going to need to try and keep this series in their favour. They are... Not going to have the ball in the early stages here. It's just a chance for Tidal Waves to get a bit of possession, a bit of control in the early stages. Yo Logic, he was there, but he couldn't quite angle his car out of prep position. Still, they're going to try and keep this chance alive here as the Roots push forward. A great center by Rodro. Just off the back wall and a great finishing by T Zippy. 1 0. A great fast lead for the Roots. Indeed, Rodro with a nice control on the ball there, and the ball just bounces down over Echo and Ender's unable to reach it. And Ash Tax. I don't know what happened on the wall there. I think he was just trying to read Rudwood, but he didn't go too well. Great start for the Roots then, and they are going to get a ball sort of firmly planted in the opposition's half in the early stages. Logic had a chance almost to get a ball in the early stages there, but I feel Tidal Waves had enough defensive players there to clear it away for now. Logic is going to center the ball. It wasn't quite a right angle, but at least he's keeping it alive here for the Roots. And, oh... Zippy just kind of bounced over his head realistically. He couldn't do anything about that. A great entry by Logic, but Echo save. Triple commit. Good. Although that was a good save, it was a triple commit from Tidal Waves. Very risky play there. I don't think their, com their comms are the best, which could make them lack in this next game as well. Yeah, it looks <laughs> like they're really struggling at this point. That was a crucial hit away. I think that was AT in the end. And Ender, his shot going to be perfectly saved by Zippy and all of a sudden, Tidal Waves don't look to be that threatening going forward here. They can't even hit the ball in the center yet again. Rod Rod, people are looking center and a crucial save by AT, AT at the back, but the ball's still there. The chance is still alive. Ender he was trying to get that, and I feel he was part of the reason that they can finish that. Rod Rod, 2 0. Yeah, Rod Rod, um, Ender unable to clear that. Echo not jumping high enough or in the right angle, and then Ashtag's backflipping, giving Rod Rod an easy top right corner goal. And the Roots, they're not out of this series. It's, we're showing that they've still got a chance here. And I feel like Tidal Waves are starting to feel the pressure at this stage. If they weren't feeling it just now, they are feeling it now. Another chance. That was a crucial hit by Edge. Oh, sorry, Echo. But I don't think it was going in anyway. Another chance will again be cleared away. It is the Roots trying to push forward here. Just trying to get possession down at the moment. Not a lot of dribbling really being seen by these two teams. It's just a case both teams trying to hit it. Tried to hit something. Miscommunication and oh no, the Roots are now going to be under pressure here. 80 that we sent in the ball, but they've just about got enough players back and they couldn't quite get the ball in their control. So, by the way, for now, getting another shot here. Another good save. 
good clearance for the orange team. And now there's an empty goal for them to work with. Can the Roots capitalize a shot? Two players committing, but they can clear away. 80 with the points for that. Go Logic is going to deny him a chance to go for an attack. And Logic can't quite control that. Nor can Echo, but he can at least get it directed forward. It will be directed only to T Zippy. And the center's there. Just a load of variables which neither side can really cling on to. A chance potentially here for the Roots, but another good save by Echo. And tied away for now, trying to get something going forward. It's so messy and I don't know how to react. Ashtag's then getting a demo, hopefully, though. And they was trying to play the ball into him, but it, again, Ashtag has got that demo. And Echo looked like he went for an air drill blocked by, I believe that was Logic. And the ball's still in the Roots' half. I mean, the pressure's slowly gaining from Tidal Waves. But they need to do a lot more than they are currently in these last two minutes to get the two goals that they need. Yo, Logic trying to get a centre for wanting to get something for a bit. It's going to be Endo and the blue team for now. Who clear it away? Not as far, though. And here's a chance. An empty goal. Tizu, if you're trying to dribble it into the net, you know, your logic had the shot, which was saved by 80. And now here comes a chance on the other end. But Tizu, he, he's just so quick. He's so good on the rotations. And the rotations at this point are so crucial to the roots. And that, I feel, is what keeping them with a 2 0 lead logic. He was trying to outplay, but they do somehow find the back of the net. Yeah, I need to see this because I thought logic. Even though he played this great pass in, I thought he was going to block it. No, the ball went underneath, and I think um, Echo or Ender, yeah, it was Echo, bumped up Logic, and the ball just wedged underneath him. 3-0 for the Roots. It feels like they've finally got some breathing space, a chance in this series to not make it over yet. A great shot! AT somehow finding one back for Tidal Waves. This was a very interesting shot. Um... End up playing that ball across and Ashtags with that nice shot, but the ball bounced off Logic and Logic. Although he got a good hit on that, hit it too far upwards and outwards into his own net. Well, Total Wave's not dead and married from this game just yet. Rod Rod will get a shot going forward here, but it's okay. It's only as far as Logic and they can clear it away. Logic, a great shot. The chance was there. AT. Not a good save. Rod Rod, he was trying to get the ball centered. Wasn't quite going to fall to him, but it does fall for his teammate to see Ziffy Echo. He can get a great save. Real Logic, he's not going to get the rotation, get the better of him. And now they're starting to feel the pressure. Rod Rod will knock it away. It's not that far. Ender's got one back, and we're not over in this series yet. Not at all. 51 seconds left, and it's currently 2 3. Ashtax, although got bumped by Rod Rod, Rod Rod had an awkward landing and wasn't able to recover in time for that goal. And now the pressure is climbing on the roots. Can they keep this second game? And in the early stages, they're just going to try and try and get the ball, really. But there's two players now back at this stage. Echo, he can do enough to clear away. It's not going to go that far away. Ender, he's going to try and get the ball forward. AT, he can cling on to it in the end. Ender will try and regain it, but he can't quite get it. An open net for them to work with Echo. He had to get that save, but Rod Rod, his second shot, will eventually be directed away by Edge in the defensive end. 20 seconds. This is a must-win game for the Roots, and they've just got to try and control the ball, and that's a mistake in itself. t -Zip, he, he can clear it away, and there was a shot there. Not quite going to fall for anyone. No one back for Tidal Waves. They have to clear this away if they want to try and keep this in their favor, but I don't think they're going to get anything. One last chance. One last attempt, potentially. And at this point, the Roots, they've done enough to take us to another map. Indeed, they have 2-2. Two, two. Very close. Is this a reverse sweep for the Roots? Or can Tidal Waves secure their third win for the series?
Game five, final game underway. This is going to be very interesting. Which team takes it home? Ooh. I know you said the Roots were going to win at the start, but having looked at all the games currently, <clears throat> what do you think either team needs to do to make sure they get their win? Just the communication between everyone has to be key at this point. Everyone's shots, they all have to be perfect. They've got to make sure they're passing someone and not just directing the ball anywhere into clear space. It is going to be tidal waves. Trying to get some control of the ball in the early stages. They won't quite get it here on Neo Tokyo. It is going to be your logic to center the ball for the roots as they look to get this first opening goal in their favor. Nothing quite yet, but in these early stages, we've not seen a goal as of yet. T-Zippy, no away from Echo's shot. In the end, AT is trying to get something in play here, but it's not quite going to be anything for now. And pushing forward, our tidal wave now. They Sorry, they are now have to pull back. Pull landing back in their shot, but now the rotation. Now the empty goal and AT. He's just got an empty goal to score in. 1-0 to tidal wave. The roots, I mean, Rudwell just playing that straight to Ashtax. And Ashtax just getting his shot open in an easy, in an open net. That's what I was meant to say. But I want to pick up on the fact that Ender has changed his car to a Batmobile. This could be quite a risky decision, especially to say that he oh, was... Um... Ooh, that was extremely close, but still the pressure from Redwater. But yeah, I don't think it's smart to change a car mid-series, especially on the last game. Maybe he wants a change of heart, realistically. T-Zippy will clear it away. The roots, they're feeling the pressure at this stage, and this pressure is not going to be cleared quite yet. Eventually, Redwater... We'll defend the ball away and rotating forward. Where are going to be the roots? But they've now got to rotate back because AT was trying to spark something into life here. Rod Rod shot isn't going to go anywhere. Echo can easily read that and clear it away at this stage. And Ender in the air. His shot will be redirected in for AT. That's 2-0 to Tidal Waves. The roots, they need to get something back now. Ender with a nice air dribble just off onto the backboard. And Ashtax placing that as hard as he can into the top right corner. Rudrod and T-Zippy were nowhere to be seen, but Logic had just expected it to be tapped far, a little bit further down for him to have reach. Oh dear, right. Tidal Waves, they're pushing forward here. They're looking to get this third go, and they will get it and miss here. Ender's brilliant play to cross it in, and Echo finding the goal. Indeed, that nice tap down from Ender just into Echo, and Echo <clears throat> placing that down further down, but Unfortunately, I believe that was Logic. Wasn't able to play the ball onto his crossbar and get it out. And it's got the assists for all three goals in this game so far. Crucial that to be aware of. Logic, he can't quite get a ball down here. And the roots, they are trying to push forward at this stage. The ball is laid down by Rod Rod, but not going to go anywhere. There's three players at the back and Tidal Wave there now trying to push forward. These three players at the back, but they have to keep falling back because... Rod Rod and Yo Logic, they're not giving up on sending these balls forward at this stage. The Roots, they need to get a third goal here. We've got over half the game still to go, but these could be a fast few minutes for Tidal Wave if they can just get a fourth goal here. They are now trying to push forward. Sorry, it's the Roots pushing forward at this stage here. Great little center. The ball not quite hitting for anyone. And Redwater just had to clear that away realistically. Straight on the other and a shot. So torn is cleared away. I'm making mistakes. I'll pay for you go. Indeed. Um, Logic now trying to get the ball, but Ashtax is there to take a cross in, potentially. Rodwood following it up onto the ball. Misses the ball himself. T-Zippy's there to recover it for him. Looks like he's going to try and play a ball into the centre, but unfortunately he doesn't have any boosts. Went for the 50-50 against Ender. Echo trying to play that wide, but Logic's there. He looks like he's going to try and get the shot off. Ashtax with a nice save off onto his own crossbar. Rodwood trying to play it down, but unfortunately it rolls too far wide. Echo with a nice clear. Logic and T-Zippy. Bit of a miscommunication there. And Echo looks like he's going to try and play that center to someone. Hopefully it's his own team. And Ender with the goal. Ashtax with a nice demo on Logic there. Let's have a look, quick look at this. Echo taking a bit of his own time. Not much boost. Logic unable to reach the ball. And Ashtax just trying to finish him off. And indeed it worked as Ender was able to get the shot off. And it is now 4-0. Two minutes remaining. This looks like a very one-sided game. If you're the Roots, you'll just be so gutted at this point. 2-0 down in the series. You make it back to 2-2. And in this third game, you or sorry, this fifth game, you can't quite get it. There's a chance here, potentially, for the Roots. There's an empty goal. The ball was 
being directed towards the goal, but they couldn't quite finish it. 80 trying to get something going here. It's gonna bounce over to Zippy. Yo, Logic, he's there at least. And now the routes they're gonna clear away. Not that far realistically. They have a chance 5 0 here, but TZP. Just a calm collective save from Ender's shot. TZP again. Looking to clear this away. And the players pretty much committing to that at the end there. Echo just gonna stop it from going very far, but it's not really gonna clear the way defensively. I can't even talk. I've got, Four I've got you. You've done a lot here. Um, but we're now trying to get the ball into a, a clear. But unfortunately, the ball is still played into their own half by Echo and Ender. Ender now trying to take, take control. Gets it around. I believe that is T-Zippy. Carries the ball. Looks like he's going to go for a double touch or even a cross in himself. But Logic was there to get the save. Ashtak's now trying to get the ball into the center himself. Again. Redwater are just playing against on these wings several times. And it seems to, be, it's, seems to have worked for these past four goals. But I think... It's a bit late for the Roots to realise how effective this is for them. T-Zippy now trying to follow the ball down the line. Echo's there to swiftly save it. Redwood trying to get it over one. Indeed he doesn't. Ender. Looks like he's going to try and get control. Looks like he tried to fake a bit of T-Zippy there. Gains has a nice controller with the dribble. But the ball falls to Redwood who gets it over Echo. Looks like he's going to try to play a cross in with these last nine seconds. It looks like it's an evident win for Tidal Waves. Four seconds, three, two, shot just hit wide, and it is secured a win for Red Water Tidal Waves. Once this ball hits the floor, which for some reason no one wants it to, indeed it has. Tidal Waves have won their first series. The Roots now, very unfortunately, just scrapes off the last.